And of course, Nader made his international debut on the Zoo Undercard a few weeks back. Uh, Nader, tell us about it. Um, it was an experience. Um, I, I suggest every aspiring fighter that really wants to challenge for a world title do get over there a couple of times. That was only my first time. I'm looking forward to um, working with Vlad and Vlad Warden um, once again to get over there a couple more times because you need, you need the experience. Now we've got some uh, some highlights here of the fight. Uh, were you a bit nervous going into the contest? I was nervous. The morning of the fight, I woke up at 4 a.m. It was like it was like doing it all over again. Just fighting, um, fighting in a whole new place, flying in three, four days before the fight, sleeping three hours a night, every night before the fight. Um, the whole the whole thing was was nerve wracking. You know, everyone's eyes are on you because of your record and because of you know, your rating. You know, all these guys are watching you, and you get in there and. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very, very exciting and you hear these guys um, announce your name. And Jimmy Lennon Jr. And yeah. things that you usually watch on TV and you're looking around at the lights. Like before the fight, I was looking around at the lights, the showtime lights. And it's, it's, you know, it's, you've got to get over there a couple of times to experience it all. Now, uh, Corby, a pretty good opponent. The, the, you look at his record, wasn't fantastic. 16 wins, 16 losses. But six, 14 of his 16 wins were by knockout. Yeah, he, um, he, held a, he held the WBF world, world title, even though it's a lesser known title. It's, you know, it was a step up from the opponents I fought here in Australia, um, something I needed. And he's one of those guys that um, he wants to take you out, otherwise he, you know, he can't win. Um, and and it, was, it was good for me, I needed, I needed that. Um, and yeah, he was there, he was there all night, we had a good six round fight. I enjoyed it, I, I won, even the round I got knocked down in, I won. Um, it, was, it was pretty, it was yeah, pretty I wanted, confident. I wanted to ask you about the knockdown, uh, how did that feel? It was just a thing where um, I was just boxing it, boxing his head off really easy and one of those problems where I have where I get too casual at times and it's something that I've got to work on, my concentration. And I just got hit with a left hook, you know, um, I got up shot, I was a flash thing and I got on with it and I kept get boxing his head off. I tell you what, look, we're looking here at some of the vision, your jab was working a treat. Uh, um, this, yeah, um, I, I can't wait till I get the whole tape because, um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was better every other round and, and even this round was good. but. Um, I can't wait to get the whole full tape. You know, I've got a lot to learn from this fight and I experienced it and I can't wait to get out of there again. And what did Jeff say to you after the fight? No, Jeff, Jeff was more than happy with the fight. Just got to get in the gym. We know we've got some weaknesses to work on. I've got to learn how to, um, how to you know, I've got a couple of weaknesses me and Jeff know about and we've got to work on. And that's, that's the best thing to come back from America, knowing we have so much things to work on before we actually go out and challenge. And like I said, I'm looking forward to getting over, over there again. I just want to thank Vlad Warden for um, giving me the opportunity to be on his promotion. I'm looking forward to working with him again. Now you talked there about the pressure, the fact that people are looking at you. Uh, how are you dealing with that? Because that's obviously something that every boxer has to deal with as they become better and better known. In Australia it's not a problem because you, you're used to it and, and you're fighting in your hometown and you got your own, you, you're, all the people that go to the fights are the people you see all the time. And, but in America it's like the first time they see you, they're talking to you, they they look at you, you come out to the fight, you know all these guys ringside looking at you, whether it be the doctor, whether it be other promoters, other fighters, trainers. And it's um yeah, it is it is, it is dawning. But like it's an experience that you need to experience and I got over the first fight with a good victory, with a good win, and I'm looking forward to experiencing it a couple more times. So then when I do get, get a chance for a world title, I'm ready for all that. It's not a problem. Yeah, and talking about the world title, it's a pretty good time to be in that division, the super world weight division, because uh, we saw recently Trinidad's moved up, he's vacated crown, so there's a couple of new champions. Also, you've got uh, somebody like Oscar De La Hoya there, Fernando Vargas, so there's there's a lot of excitement in the division, isn't I'm there? I'm sure the end thing will be, De La Hoya will be, I think he's a WC champion now. Yep. Vargas will hold the WBA. I'm sure Winky Wright will hold the IBF, and he's the dark horse of the whole division. Winky Wright, um, he, he, he um, almost beat Fernando Vargas. So he's a guy that, um, it is in a very exciting division. I'm looking forward to fighting all these fighters. Because um, to be the best, you've got to test your medal against the best. And who, in a dream situation, who would you like to fight most? Uh, right now, um, De La Hoya, because he's in my division. Um, and he'd, he'd be the guy I'd love to fight. Well, let's hope that that dream does come true. 